Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new, welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans what we do around here. We've got over 500 audios available for your listening pleasure. Hopefully several things that are of benefit to you. Please subscribe, like, comment below, share this with whoever you think would benefit from it. We're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers as quick as possible, give some money back to charity, make the world a better place, all that good stuff. Uh, but the only way to do that is with your continued support, which would certainly be useful, helpful, and a good thing. In any event, um, we're going to kind of look at just some basic life lessons that successful people learn. And so um, those life lessons can be learned. also love to work with people. Please feel free to reach out if you want to work with me one-to-one -one, uh, at P.O. Perception on Twitter or the about me section on this on this YouTube page go to my website and, and link up there in any event um, the first is don't go against the grain look if you if you realize something isn't working for you be it a relationship be it a um, be it a strategy at work be it a connection with a, a supervisor um, be it a family dynamic that's toxic let it go and go with the way that's working. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't try to do everything you can to salvage things that are meaningful to you. But the wisest people in the world understand how to pivot and go, hey, this isn't working. I can't make somebody. The, the biggest thing I say, and if you work with me um, on, on any level, one-to-one, -one, the, the, the thousands of people I work with, probably my most... Um, common phrase is you can't teach desire. You can't make somebody want to be different, want to do something. You can't make somebody see something they don't want to see. You can't make somebody believe something they don't want to believe. And so trying to do so is going against the grain. It's a waste of your time. It's a waste of your energy. It's a waste of your, um, you know, the, the value of the finite experience we have here on the planet so instead go with what is is in the flow of working and and make that energy and those opportunities work for you the next is time management so segment how you use your day how you use your week how you use your month how you use your year year over year focus on segments of getting things done build in breaks into your segmented day that means hey I've gotten this task done. I can take five minutes to listen to a song. I've gotten this task done. I can go have a power bar and a, and a drink of water for 10 minutes. In other words, build even rest into the way you use your day so that your body can stay balanced, so that your mind can stay clear, and so your spirit doesn't burn out in the process. Chase your dreams. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that the expectation is every dream that you've ever had is going to come true. I think when every dream that we've ever had comes true, I think we can pass away the next day. What I mean by that is the, the, nothing is complete until we draw our last breath, but chase the things that light you up and make you happy. And also, if you've been chasing something for a while and it hasn't been as fruitful as you'd hoped, ask yourself, am I still as passionate about this as I used to be? Or am I starting to get frustrated, disappointed, or somehow let down by what hasn't happened yet? If you if you started with one dream and your dreams have changed and you're still chasing the dream that you originally started with, you're creating your own misery indirectly. So the next thing is learn from your critics. Even if the way they say things is harsh, even if the way they they word their their criticism is unkind, even if what you know, 90% of what they say is their ego. There's always something you can learn from a critic. Um, for example, I remember for a while I was getting told that uh, uh, my audio was horrible, and so I, I worked on it. Is it perfect now? No. And do I have limitations because of uh, damage to my throat from, from medical issues that cause my audio not to be perfect? Yes. And could I edit my audio so that everything sounds perfect? Yes. But I want to be real. I want to be human. I want to be transparent. And that means I have weaknesses and I'm willing to show them. But at the same time, I learned from the critics, hey, this bothers a lot of people. Let me 
Let me see what I can do, what I'm comfortable with, and finding your comfort level with whatever adaptations to criticisms you make is also important. You can change yourself for other people and still alienate another group, or you can make the changes that make sense to you and leave the opinions of other people behind, and that's the best way to handle those things. Learn to say no. You don't need to be liked by everybody. You don't need to agree to everything that... that um, people want you to do. You don't need to be a person who always is overextended, but that means saying no and not caring about what people's reactions are. Now, that doesn't mean you don't care about their emotions. Understand that when you say no, you're probably going to get a negative reaction. Try to allay that negative reaction in the best way of your ability, but at the same time, realize that unless you said yes, they're not going to be 100% thrilled with you. Having limitations of what you can handle and not allowing other people's emotional state to push you beyond what you're comfortable. Now, on the other side, be as generous as you can while still remaining yourself, but don't get to the point where you overgive just for the sake of not having to say no. The next is trust your inner circle. So that means have an inner circle, first of all. Have people you count on no matter what's going on in your life, but learn to trust them and build a rapport that gives you the ability to have the support you need when things are going well for you. Now that inner circle could be two people, it could be five people, it could be ten people. The number of people in your inner circle doesn't matter, but the level of trust and rapport you have with them always does. And when you start to doubt someone's motives in your inner circle, it may be time to have a conversation with them, it may be time to remove them from how close you keep them, but it's always time to change if, if the trust is starting to waver. The next, the next and last thing is learn from leaders. In your industry, or if you're trying to uh, have a good marriage, then go to people that are older than you that have been married longer. If you're trying to have a good work-life balance, go to spiritual gurus. Learn from people that are doing and have done what you want to accomplish or what you want to do. Understand that they don't have all the answers, but they do have things you can apply to your daily life. And the application of things matters more than the knowledge. So make sure that if you're going to learn something, you're at least open to applying it to improve your own life. Otherwise, you're kind of wasting your time. In any event, hopefully this is helpful. Keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.